How do I come up with the videos that I shoot for YouTube? I think I got it. How do I come up with the videos that I shoot for YouTube? But that's a question I get asked a lot, but I never really put a lot of thought into it until my best friend asked me, bruh, how do you come up with the shit that you come up with for YouTube? After sitting on the phone with him and just talking through it and kind of explaining my process to him, it made me realize that maybe I should share that process with you guys. So here it is, my creative process or my thought process of how I shoot my YouTube videos. Oh, and one other thing to let you guys know. This will be a two to three video series because who wants to sit through a 20 minute video on YouTube explaining how I'm going to shoot my videos. So there will be follow up videos to this, but enough of all of that. Here we go. We're going to get into the process. All right. The first thing you have to do whenever you want to shoot a YouTube video or before you do anything, you have to have an idea first, right? You just can't say, hey, I'm going to shoot a video. So the first thing is me coming up with the idea of what I'm going to shoot on. The way I come up with these ideas is just doing what I do every single day. And that comes to me from my commute or driving to my clients, uh, talking to friends and family, questions from those same friends and family. Um, and their questions be about, you know, whatever. It may be about an app. It may be about a piece of technology. It may be about a computer. Just whatever is about that's normally what I use to talk about and to do reviews and everything like that on my YouTube channel. And one of the main things that I normally use that give me ideas is just talking about what I'm passionate about. And that gives me more ideas than anything. And I try to come up with a way that I can present it to you guys and make it interesting. Make you guys want to know what I'm talking about or care what I'm actually talking about. But one of the most and one of the very, very important things when I'm going through this brainstorming idea uh, session is I listen to music. I listen to a lot of music, actually. Um, it's just something about hearing other people in their creative niche that makes me feel like I'm getting a little more creative. So music is one of the big, big things that I use to get, I guess, my creative juices flowing. Now, normally when I'm listening to music, I am on YouTube, I'm on social media, I'm looking, trying to see what's trending, see what people have already talked about, what they haven't talked about, so that way I can find a creative way to bring it to you guys where it's not just the same boring thing over and over and over again. Okay, after listening to music and looking at social media, YouTube and everything like that, I normally take the top three ideas and I write them down. Um, and this could be in any form or fashion, whether it's notebook paper, whether it's on my tablet, whether it's on my phone. I may sometimes just record a voice memo. But once I actually make up my mind on the top three, I do actually write them down. Okay, after the idea is decided on and formulated around in my head somewhere, I actually start taking notes and start writing talking points and this is the longest part of the process just for the simple fact of once i get all my notes together and get them organized it does kind of turn into a formal script not necessarily word for word script but something sort of like this just take a look all right i know you guys thinking okay finally got everything organized it's time to get the camera and time to shoot but not quite just yet because next we have to plan out the shoot. It's not just about hitting the record button. And what I mean by planning out the shoot is when I come down and I got my script and I'm sitting in front of my desk and I'm looking around my office, I think about what I want to put in the shot, what will make it interesting to you guys, how to actually make motion and movements with the particular camera that I'm using, what lens to use, what type of lighting to use, you know, if I want to use a microphone, if I want to do voiceover, it's just so much that as goes into actually shooting a video before it's actually time to hit the record button. So finally, after I decide on the idea and then I turn around and I write notes on the idea and talking points and it becomes a script. And then finally I start planning my shots and deciding on what equipment I'm going to use. Yes, it is finally time to start recording. And 
I'm not gonna go into that on this video. It's gonna be another video that I'm gonna go through you guys and show you what equipment I use to actually record, um, kind of how I plan out my shots and what lights to use and that type of deal. So, you know, I don't wanna make this video super long, but I do wanna give you guys the first part of it, which is the creative part, which is, could be the most fun part, but also the most work, yeah. So, there you guys have it. You see my creative process and what I go through as far as being able to shoot a video for you guys on YouTube. Don't forget guys, hit the like button, hit the share button. Don't forget the comment section is down there. And in the comment section, let's get some interaction going. Tell me you guys process of whenever you maybe shooting a YouTube video if you're a content creator or just anything that you actually go through that's your process. Tell me your creative process and how you do it and maybe we'll kind of bounce ideas off of each other back and forth. So Again, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Until next time, stay taked up.